Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is drone hacking. Since it's Friday, I figured I'd end with a light story that intersects with both information security and one of my personal hobbies, which is remote control multi-rotors, or what the rest of the world calls drones. I'm actually a drone hobbyist, and I use them for a lot of aerial videography, because you can get some pretty amazing shots. But this week, a security researcher posted on the Shell Intel blog a way to actually hijack one of the community communication protocols used by many popular drones. In the blog post, he talks about the Mavlink protocol, which is a, a open communication protocol many popular drones use to share telemetry data. For instance, you might share GPS waypoints so the drone can automatically navigate itself, or you might throttle it up or down or things like that. In any case, these researchers found that this Mavlink protocol is pretty open. It uses a particular identifier to identify that the controller really should control that radio. But these researchers found that it was trivial for them to sniff that communication and find that particular identifier. And then they wrote a custom firmware and used a Raspberry Pi so that they could actually spoof that identifier. Long story short, with a little Raspberry Pi and a wireless device, these attackers were able to actually control the Mavlink communication to any drone out there. And in the video I've been playing in the background, you can see how these researchers could use that to either uh, force a drone to land or even crash. And they could also use it to to make it so the drone couldn't arm itself. So you might create a device that would prevent drones from taking off in a certain area if they happen to use this Mavlink protocol like many of the popular drones do. In any case, I found this to be a very interesting story, especially with my interest in both information security and drones. And while you may not think that this has any sort of practical implications in network security or your everyday job, you need to realize that it's a perfect example of some of the issues with the Internet of Things. While drones are very specific technologies, they actually are just computers wirelessly communicating with network protocols. If it's a computer, it contains software, and if it communicates on a network, whether wired or wireless, it could have many of the same vulnerabilities that our normal traditional computer systems do. So as you adopt more and more uh, non-traditional computers into your business infrastructure, you definitely need to think about how to secure these Internet of Things. Anyways, I just thought it was a fun and interesting security related story for Friday. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.